Hi everyone, uh, this video we're going to talk about responsive web design and uh, we'll talk about what it is and how Webflow deals with it. So first, what is it? It is basically just when a website responds to the browser size or the device size. I, I am on a big screen here when I'm recording. Okay, but let's say I'm looking at my iPad. I shrink this up. Okay, can you see it changes depending on the size? So if I open this up on a screen that's maybe a smaller laptop, can you see Dribble has decided that four for a big screen okay and they decide to actually cut it down to three for a kind of a medium screen and we're going to get down to something like uh maybe a portrait tablet okay i'm viewing this website dribble.com on a, on a tablet it's going to cut it down to only two so that's layout so they're adjusting the layout to respond to the device that it's on hence responsive web design it's layout it's fonts it's images okay there's all sorts of things you can address so let's have a little look get down to mobile and you can see it goes down to one column Let's have a look at one more Apple. So at a medium screen, okay, it's on the left and the MacBook is on the right. And then if we go down any smaller, look, they change the kind of structure of it. And then down here, you can see a big jump. See the fonts change for MacBook here? And same with the charity um, logo up here. Everything just kind of lays out differently on the different options. So how does Webflow do it? So Webflow tackles it by doing desktop first. So you design on desktop and then you design for these other styles. Okay, so what happens is you design on the desktop and then you kind of adjust for these different ones. This is your tablet. This is, uh, was it landscape phone? And that is portrait phone. You can look at it in the preview option as well. Okay, just make sure everything's working properly. So desktop, okay, and you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. And ours breaks down pretty badly across these because of that padding that we stuck on. So we're gonna adjust that in the next videos. If you want a specific size, you can drag it. You can see uh, 360, you can type it in here, whatever size you wanna look at. Okay, you might be working on a device, you know, the, your device. I've got a Google Pixel. I can type out whatever width that is so I can preview it on my screen here or just drag it out. Okay, so, and just see how it breaks down. And ours pretty poorly to start with. If you do have the question of like, why can't I design or, you know, can I design uh, mobile first? You cannot in Webflow. Webflow is a desktop first design. Design in desktop and then change it for these other ones. Is there a way of switching it around? Mm, no. <laughs> not at the moment anyway and i doubt they have plans to they're kind of basing it around desktop design and then moving out to these mobiles so it is best to design a desktop first get everything you need in there and then work out the mobile afterwards so that's responsive design it responds to the device size let's go and actually start working on that in webflow in the next video that my friend is the end of the video uh, but not the end of the course uh, the video you just watched um it is a small part of my larger course called webflow essentials so if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.